hello everyone i welcome all to this video lecture on loss functions so in past two videos we were discussing about loss functions and now we will see how to implement the loss function practically what are the different steps step 1 choose a suitable loss function determine the type of a problem you are working on example is it a regression binary classification multi class classification choose a loss function appropriate for that problem because we discussed about so many loss functions loss function has to be chosen based on the problem step 2 define the loss function class using a pytorch or function in the tensor flow in pytorch we define a custom loss function class by subclassing nn module in a tensor flow implement the loss cal calculation implement the mathematical expression of your loss function using tensors or the array depending on the framework step 4 calculate the loss value use the implemented loss function to calculate the loss value between the model and the predictions and the ground truth labels for a batch of a data during training or testing step 5 integrate the loss function into model training in your training loop incorporate the custom loss function when computing the loss for each batch of data for pytorch use the custom loss function as a criterion when defining the loss in optimization step for tensor flow set the loss function as a loss argument when compiling the model using model dot compile function the next one is the step 6 train your model train your model train your model deep learning model as usual using the custom loss function as a part of the training process now coming to what is the benefits of loss function of course we know what is loss function loss function is basically trying to find out the error but what are the benefits of that optimization loss functions are used by optimization algorithms example gradient descent to update model parameters then flexibility different machine learning tasks require different loss functions loss functions are designed to be flexible and adaptable to different problem types such as regression Uh, binary classification multi class classification and so on regularization some loss functions incorporate regularization terms l1 or l2 regularization that penalize large model weights then evaluation metrics loss functions also serve as the basis for calculation of evaluation metrics such as the accuracy precision recall f1 score and so on So what is the conclusion of the loss function loss functions are fundamental pillars of deep learning and machine learning serving as the guiding force in training models and evaluating their performances their role in model optimization evaluation and fine tuning will continue the to shape the future of artificial intelligence driving innovation across various domains and fostering new frontiers frontiers in machine learning research and development thank you so we have uh, discussed about the loss functions different type of loss functions so what is a loss function loss function is find out the finding out the error right what is the difference between the predicted value and the actual value so uh, we also saw the benefits of loss functions Uh, when we use loss function then uh, we can optimize the network we can set better hyper parameters the network can be flexible right and the, in the implementation process in the different steps we saw we are giving the loss functions during training process itself so when we give the loss function in during the training process then we can train the network about what are the what are the errors possible so that the network will try to reduce those errors in the initial steps itself 
थैंक यू तो दिस इज अबाउट द लॉज फंक्शंस यूज्ड इन डीप लर्निंग थैंक यू